Hey guys, what's going on? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here, and today I'm taking you along for an estate sale. Mountain Man. Mountain Man. Treasures. Feel yourselves through this process. The line is so long, guys. It's going to be like the bins in there here in a second. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shopping bag. No, everybody's on top of it. We're ready. Sharon, can I start a box back here? You sure can. I'm fixing to grab another thing and I can't grab them both. All right. <laughs> yes, ma'am. What's that? Anything Did you? Gonna, you you're gonna pay me my uh, yeah. pay, pay me my finder's fee? Some old sheets. I might look these up. Commonwealth picker box here. Got it. I think it's okay. Yeah. Oh shoot. Thank you. No, no. <laughs> I don't know how to get anywhere, Mark. Did you get your books? Yes. Nice. I wouldn't have known which which ones to grab. I don't know either. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Front door's locked. <laughs> We're all trapped now. <laughs> yeah, he didn't even make it into the the knives. One guy bought the entire one of the with the, like the K bars and stuff. He goes, I'll buy the whole box. Yeah. 
Yeah, the one with, yeah. with the uh, pocket knives. You yeah. Did you find the good ones already? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty well picked over already. Yeah. Just two. With the yellow on the beard, I don't know. I'll try it. We'll try him. We'll give him a shot. Was Santa five? Five dollars. I think five. Five dollars. And now Santa's back. Oh no. Okay, how much is it? Ready seven. Okay. All righty. And I'll be right back. And then uh, you probably have to leave this in the box, right? Yeah, I'll just carry that. Do you mind if I leave that here and take a trip and then come back and grab it? Not at all. Okay. I don't want to I don't want to clutter up your table. So oh, you're fine. Okay. Not to worry. That place was absolutely packed. You saw the line when uh, I, I got there 45 minutes early, and like two dozen people were in front of me. Of course, Farmer Mark, I think he was number two. He knows how this game works better than I do. I'm not usually able to get to these estate sales that early. I thought 45 minutes was good. Looks like I got to up my game. 
for the next time around. But we got so much good stuff at that estate sale. I didn't even get video of all of it. I did try to cut down video too because nobody wants to watch a 45 minute video right at least i generally don't i try to keep these things a little bit bite size here's some of the stuff that sold already that i picked up there we've got several things that i didn't show you uh, i did show you that monkey he's right back there he didn't work if he worked big money but even not working and he's mechanically he feels okay you know everything moves like it should it's just it, probably the motor is burned out in there, but cosmetically, it's great. It's still going to sell, especially because I have the box. And so that thing, I think I have listed at like $115 or so right now, and I expect it to sell right around there. We picked up some really good stuff. That cuckoo clock. I actually went and talked with the guy in town that repairs clocks. And I said, hey, you know, this thing, I, I've got to put it together, but all the pieces are here. Mechanically, it looks sound. I'm sure it needs a cleaning. He said it would cost probably about $120 for him to go into it, clean all the connection points, oil it, all of that. And at that point, he said that could be worth anywhere between $500 and $750 locally. That's probably what I'm going to do with it, and I'm going to let him sell it for me. It's easier than shipping that thing. It's so delicate, so many moving pieces. But those things sell for several hundred dollars broken a lot of times. So I knew that was a good pickup. You saw in the video that Mark came by and said, hey, I got that typewriter. I had texted him the night before and said, hey, at this estate sale in the garage is a typewriter from 1906. It's called a Batwing because in the middle, it's like this and the two sides come up. They look like Batwings. It even has the lid. Now, without the lid, with the case, I've seen them sell for between three and $500, depending on their condition cosmetically. And again, that's not working, right? Because people either use them to display it or they fix them. This one, I it might work. Uh, it, it's actually in very, very nice shape, and it's got the lid. Now, the lid has a dent in it. The handle is ripped off, but I told Mark about it. I said, hey, if you get in there before I do, grab this thing. It's worth good money. They, they had $80 on it, which is an absolutely fair price for it, and Mark was going after some cast iron, and it was in there, so he picked that thing up. I didn't go in there because I knew, you know, other people were in front of me, I'm going to go after the cuckoo clock. And, and I did get that. I got that toaster too, which if it worked would have been great. I got to get better about quality control, testing things before I leave. I could have done that there. I would have known that it didn't work and left it, but it still should sell for about $20 for parts. So that's fine. But Mark went into the garage and he said, well, you know, I was getting the cast iron. It was right there. So I grabbed it. I wouldn't have known about it if you didn't tell me. So if you want it, you can take it. Mark, thank you, my friend. Like I said, three to $500 is... The pretty common, I mean, that's a common sale. That's not a one-off. It sells all the time for that. So with the lid, we're sitting there at probably the $500 range for that typewriter. I got that from him. He had it at the back of his car. And so uh, I paid him the 80 and we moved that into the back of my car. So Mark, thanks so much. We're going to make a lot of money off of that. We're going to make a lot of money off of the, uh, the cuckoo clock forgot what I was trying to say there. And then we got a lot of smalls in there. Some of them have already sold. You saw that. I've been listing the other stuff underneath here that we have listed and then we've picked up. I do want to show you one other thing that I picked up there that's not listed yet, but is also going to bring some big bucks. So this one is not listed. I'm going to hang on to this for a little bit. I'll let you know why here in like three weeks or so. There's a reason. This, you can see right here, says it's made for 12 gauge blanks only made in France. There's a hole on the bottom. This is to put shotgun shells, 12 gauge shells. And you can see, I think, yep, you can see it doesn't shoot projectiles. Nothing shoots out of this. It fires blanks. This, you pull the pin and there you can open the breech, right? And you can put the shell in there. And then it's got a firing pin back here. This thing was sitting there. I saw it. I went back on uh, the third day. And picked up a couple of small things. Just was curious what was left. And I saw this, and I was actually talking with somebody else, and I had somewhere to be. And so I talked with him for too long and realized, oh, I got to get going. And I sort of absentmindedly set this thing down and left. And so I was freaking out once I realized what I did all night, hoping that this would be there. 
it was still there. Now it had a price tag of $30 on it. The last day I went back, this, this one went four days because it was so big. I went back. So I got this for $15. Everything was half off. You guys, this, the last two that have sold on eBay, and it doesn't come up very often. I've gone on worth point and it looks like basically every time this thing shows up, it sells. This thing sold the last two times, one at $299 and one at, I think it was $349. This is a $300 to $350 piece that was sitting there on day four, and I got it for $15. It, it just goes to show you, I mean, I got there right away and picked up some cool stuff, and I went on day four and got one of the best things probably at that sale. It, it just was sitting there on a shelf amongst a bunch of other toy and model cannons. Nobody realized that this wasn't a toy or model cannon. This is actually pretty highly sought after. So this thing is awesome. I'm going to hang on to it for a little bit, but we made so much money. We paid $180 and change there on that first day. Uh, paid Mark $80 for that typewriter. So that puts us up at, what, $260. And I paid $15 for this on the last day, so $275. This is going to pay for everything, right? Everything else that we got from that sale is 100% profit after I list and sell this. So I can't do much better than that. Guys, I appreciate you hanging out with me today. If you haven't subscribed, like half the people that watch this channel that watch the videos, not subscribed. So subscribe for me as we creep towards 12,000 subs hit that bell. That'll let you know when we put new content up and comment down below. That, that helps a ton as well. That helps the videos gain a, a little bit of momentum on YouTube when you comment and hit the like button, stuff like that triggers the old algorithm. You don't mind doing that for me. I sure appreciate it. I'm going to let you guys go. See you next time.